Hi friends, now we can discuss the meaning and the importance of marginal efficiency of capital. In the Keynesian model of the determination of employment, income and output, Keynes give more importance to investment demand. Investment is determined by two factors, marginal efficiency of capital and rate of interest. Marginal efficiency of capital is the highest rate of return expected from additional unit of investment. It is the rate of return over cost or profitability of a capital asset. According to Keynes, MEC is the ratio of prospective yield of an additional capital good and its supply price. That is, MEC is determined by prospective yield and supply price. Prospective yield is the expected yield from the output of capital assets. Supply price is the cost of producing the capital asset. MEC is generally represented per percent per year. Thus, MEC can be stated as MEC is equal to prospective yield by supply price into 100. As we know, capital goods can be used for a number of years or they can be used more and more times. Thus, the investors expects income from more than one period. Therefore, MEC can be calculated by using the equation C is equal to Q1 by 1 plus Rm plus Q2 by 1 plus Rm square plus Q3 by 1 plus Rm raised to 3 plus etc. Qn by 1 plus Rm raised to n. Here C stands for the cost of capital good. Q1, Q2, etc. Qn stands for the prospective yields in various years. 1, 2, 3, etc. n. Now, the investment depends upon MEC and rate of interest. Marginal efficiency of capital and the rate of interest together determines the amount of new investment. The investors will continue to invest more as long as MEC is greater than rate of interest and at the equilibrium level of investment, MEC will be equal to rate of interest which is shown in the diagram. The capital stock is represented in the horizontal axis and the vertical axis measures MEC and rate of interest. Here, the point K at point K, the rate of interest is OR, which is generally stable in the short run, while the marginal efficiency of capital here is OM, which is higher than the rate of interest. Therefore, the investment is profitable and the investors continue to invest more. Now, at point K1, the MEC and the rate of interest are equal and the investors reach at equilibrium position. Now, the importance of MEC is given in the slide. MEC plays a major role in Keynesian theory of employment. The major elements of marginal efficiency of capital are number one, it plays an important role in the determination of employment. The level of employment depends upon investment 
investment depends upon the rate of interest and the marginal efficiency of capital. Number two, business cycles. The capital economies are characterized by recurring periods of inflationary and deflationary situations. Keynes states that the cause of fluctuations in the business activities is the fluctuations in aggregate demand, especially fluctuations in the investment demand, which is as a result of the fluctuations in the marginal efficiency of capital. Number three, it gives the solution to depression. Keynes explains that liquidity trap arises during the depression. During the liquidity trap, rate of interest cannot be pushed down below that level. That is the level of liquidity trap by increasing the supply of money. Thus, an increase in EMAs is necessary for the recovery of a capitalist economy from depression. Fourth point is socialization of investment. Capitalist economy are characterized by instability, especially with regard to investment function. The instability is due to the fluctuations or misunderstanding of the ex expected rate of profit or MEC. When private investment fails to maintain stability, Keynes suggested socialization of investment. By socialization of investment, Keynes meant government control over private investment and the intervention of the government to compensate any fall in the private investment. And now we can conclude here. Thank you.